One of the most common weavings that you will see are Ye and Yebache weavings. And these, at least done in the, in the 40s to the 60s, there was a lot of these made. But early on, these were not common at all. In fact, at the turn of the century, traders like Lorenzo Hubble from Ganado Trading Post would want these to be done as well as other people like J.B. Moore at Crystal. They would you know, ask, because their clients were asking, can we have anything that have religious symbolism in them? Now the Navajo or Diné make sand paintings. Now sand paintings are done and they're only meant to be very uh, short-lived and then they're supposed to be wiped out. So the earliest pieces that were done were of, some were of, done of sand paintings and these were done by a man, a very famous medicine man named Hostein Claw. And Hostein Claw actually uh, was a medicine man and when he was able to weave some sand paintings and didn't have a problem, wasn't di didn't die, didn't go blind, that they said, okay, it can be done, but you can't represent the sand paintings exactly right. Now a sand painting, which is square, and, and has lots of symbolism and it's not the same about as a yay or a yebache. And I want to sp spend time talking about yays and yebaches. The yays are gods. And you can see behind me is a yay and it has the square head. And the square heads actually are females and the round heads, which you can see above, are the males. The dance itself of yebaches are the people who are portraying the yeas. So if they are portraying the yeas, then they are a yebache and not a ye piece. You'll also notice that in the front of many of the yebaches are, is Talking God, which will be the leader of the yebache dance. You can also see a rainbow god that will go around many of the yeas. And often the yeas that were done in the 30s and 40s are of the white background. And many of these were made either at Lukachukai or in the Shipok area or even at Ganado. One of the things I've noticed coming on the market lately are Mexican knockoffs, and they often do the yays. One of the ways you can tell that on the Mexican knockoffs uh, often is that the, the figures just don't look right. They're poorly composed. They don't have the, the movement as that you would see in the Navajos. And of course, there's lots of other issues with the Mexican uh, replications of the Navajo weavings, which you can watch on another of my films, which has to do with how you can tell Mexican weavings from Navajo weavings. So yebaches are valuable if they're earlier, especially the ones that are from the 1900s to 1930s. I particularly like the ones that have a different background, either a brown or a black or red background. The most common type are the white background background types. So if you're looking for pictorial elements, think of yebaches, think of yeas, and if you're lucky, you might occasionally find a sand painting.